Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving the latest of the greatest Fedora 42. Like really man, why it had to be just released after the day I installed Arch Linux. I literally transformed my whole Windows setup and turned it into a proper Arch Linux setup for editing, gaming, everything. And just one day after that, Fedora 42 is here with so many amazing updates. Why? Well, we cannot do anything about it and let's just get into the video and see if Fedora 42 is worthy enough to literally replace Arch Linux as my main Linux desktop for everything. And are these updates really worth it or not? So let's get started, shall we? All right then, so here we are on Fedora. Let me just go to full screen mode and it's gonna switch the resolution anytime. There we go. And now the first impressions I have is amazing. Like first thing first, I don't know if you have noticed or not, but I have noticed. The wallpaper has been changed. Tell me in the comments if you were able to notice that. Now then, let's start with the first update and that is literally awesome. For the first time after such a long time, Fedora has updated their installer and this is the Anaconda web installer. Well, it is not web because we are on proper workstation edition. So let's just go through the installation process. Man, this looks so damn beautiful. Now then, it is just a simple four step process to install the whole system. And this is our review that we're gonna install 42 with English US. I'm gonna use entire disk and this is the boot, for, well, partition format, that's it. And if I click here, it's gonna erase everything and install. But that's not the thing we're gonna do right now. Okay, so bye bye installer. And now then it is time to move into the next update, which is, well, you already know, I believe, because you are my subscriber. And if you're not, then don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date in the world of Linux. So the update I'm talking about is digital well-being. Now then this comes with GNOME 48. So it's obvious that you're going to see it repeatedly in my channel, but literally man, for the first time, Linux has a proper digital well-being. This is very important for Linux users to calculate, analyze how long they use their, well, screen. Let me just show you mine. Okay. Hi. Okay then. So let's leave that. Now let's go to settings and we have to go to well-being. And now as you can see, I literally used 7 hours, 44 minutes today. That is not okay. Like this is definitely not healthy. So I can set my screen time limit and eyesight reminders, moment reminders. Well, this is literally a good thing. Like, well, to say the truth, I actually did not expect it to be this long. Like, yes, I know because I had some lectures about the Wing Chisol Studio, which I installed. And then I had some other lectures related to, well, coding and stuff. So, yep, it has been a long day, but still here I am creating a video for you and it's going to literally reach maybe 10 hours. Can you imagine 10 hours in front of screen? This is not healthy. And that is why it is a very good update. And now then there's another thing which I don't know you can feel but still. Fedora now uses triple buffering which means that all the animations in Fedora are gonna be way more smoother and fluid than its competitors. So yep, it's gonna be a real joy if you use Fedora on a laptop with touchscreen gestures. Now for the next update, we're going to need to switch from Fedora desktop to a browser because the next updates are not in a particular operating system, but in the name of Fedora itself. Well, let me just show you how. So this is the Fedora's website and now you can see there's something different. Fedora has finally recognized the KDE Plasma desktop as a mainstream operating system in the website. Now it is not just a spin-off, but a proper personal desktop operating system for Fedora. And take a look at here. Fedora says that KDE version is actually an excellent choice for artists and creators because KDE Plasma supports HDR displays with advanced color management. And as you know, it is made by KDE. So you can easily use Krita and Kden Live as photo and video editing softwares. It is amazing for scientists, developers, gamers, and it is amazing to customize and it is built by you which means it you know community had a big hand in the creation of this particular version and when you go to download it as you can see it is the latest fedora 42 kde plasma version 
Not just a version, it's now mainstream. And that's not it, there's more. When you go down to the website, you can see in there's something different in the spin section. We have cosmic desktop environment. Now you might be wondering like what's new? Well, we have the full-fledged Fedora 42 Linux distribution with Rust-based, very lightweight and fast and productive cosmic desktop environment, which which has literally a very minimal set of applications, but it is pretty amazing. And when you go to download, as you can see, it has Fedora 42 latest version with Cosmic Spin. And now you might be wondering like, yep, finally we are reaching the end of the video. So which means that the updates are now finished. Well, there are more. The latest version of Fedora, Fedora 42 is now actually supported by WSL, Windows Subsist Subsistent for Linux. And Fedora aims to literally make Linux pretty easy and possible on Windows. Like, because as you can see right now in this picture, well, I had to literally search down this picture that Microsoft loves Ubuntu when it comes to running Linux on Windows operating system as a subsystem. And Fedora aims to change and switch and turn the tables on Ubuntu and become the face of Linux. But know what? Even now when Fedora is literally at the pinnacle of Linux distributions, Ubuntu is still the face of Linux and there are so many reasons and yeah, the proper video is already uploaded about it. So you can watch it after the video. Well, the link is in gonna be in the description maybe. Yep. Or you can just search it on my channel. Now leaving that, there are more updates as well. For example, now you get proper DaVinci Resolve support like you can easily install DaVinci Resolve on Fedora with their Resolve installer helper, something like that. But there's more. You get the best NVIDIA GPU support on Fedora. That's a statement, a bold statement. No other distribution is near that point. If you want to install DaVinci Resolve or play games and you have an NVIDIA GPU, then Fedora will give you the best performance, the best optimization, the best battery life, everything best if you want to use Linux. Now then, there are other spin-offs which are like not so recommended but if you are focused on specific things like if you want to do gaming, content creation, that stuff, then you can go with Nobara Linux. It is based on Fedora so yeah, it's just gonna be the same. Now it comes down to the question, is it enough to make me switch from Arch Linux to Fedora? And yeah, if you heard any, any noise of dogs barking, then yeah, I'll try my best to remove all of that background noise. Now leaving that, let me just answer the question. Well, the thing is, you see, yes, Fedora looks way too intimidating. Like, let me just get back. As you can see here, it is really at the pinnacle. It works amazingly and it gives me the most amazing vanilla GNOME experience, even better than Arch Linux. Yes, that is true. Even Arch Linux cannot withstand the power of Fedora. It is the most stable and amazing Linux distribution with the best performance in the world of Linux. But the only reason I'm not switching to Fedora is because, well, I recently installed Arch Linux and I don't want to spend 20 or 30 more hours just to replace Arch Linux with Fedora. Yes, I'm going to try Fedora 42, try different versions of it, create videos about it. And then after some time, I will decide, is it enough? But right now, as you can see, this Arch Linux distribution, which is literally the most amazing thing I've ever used, but not the best experience, is pretty decent for me. Like, I'd like to be stable for some time. Like, I can finally get my content creation, gaming, everything done on Arch Linux. And I don't want to just jump from Arch Linux to Fedora in one day. And that is why, let me just move my cursor. All right, then that is why I'm holding the decision of staying on Arch Linux. And I'm going to try Fedora a little more. Like this video was just for informational purposes about what is new in Fedora. But the proper review video will be coming on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe. And so let me just tell you one thing. Like I plan to create a review video. Then maybe a comparison video between Fedora 42 and Arch Linux. And I don't know, should I just create videos about things to do after installing Fedora? Maybe, maybe not. Well, I'll not do that just now. Yep.
So yeah, that's the plan about using Fedora. And then I'll decide whether to jump to Fedora or not. But tell me in the comments, what do you think about it? And what are you going to do? Are you going to just distro hop again and try what is new in Fedora by yourself and reinstall all the stuff you installed on your previous distribution? Or you're just like me and try everything on a virtual machine. Well, actually one thing, Gnome Boxes is literally an amazing application, like literally amazing. Let me just show you one thing. Go back. So you see, I can run multiple operating systems in Gnome Boxes in real time simultaneously. And all I have to do is just wait. Let me just go and shut down first. Yep, just like that. And it is made by Gnome, so it is actually amazing and it looks damn good. That is one of the reasons I'm not using QEMU or QUME. Kemu or Kumi? Kumi. Like, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kemu. Yep, it is Kemu. Kwemu, maybe. This was the software I used to run virtual machines in Windows, but right now I have a better thing which is called Gnome Boxes. Now let me just search for how to, no, no, pronounce Kemu. Um, Google was supposed to actually pronounce it. Meaning of Kemu. Now then, speak. Quick emulator. Hey, not that. Kemu. Q -E -M -U. Literally, even Google is not pronouncing it like Kemu or Kwemu or anything. Well, let's leave all those English lessons for another video, okay? The video is getting long and as you can see, I have literally 8% battery left. So yeah, I'll be off to maybe editing the video or doing something else. Or maybe I should sleep because it's 12 a.m. midnight. And tell me in the comments what do you think about it. And if you have any suggestions of how shall I edit videos and how can I level up the quality of my videos? Because most of my videos are actually screen recording. Like I have my camera here my virtual machine here in which i'm going to review distributions obs like it's all in one place and all i need is just a screen recorder which is obs and it works flawlessly so yep how, what can i add or delete from this video to make it look good feel good and sound good well i could have just said how can i make this video better well then let's just leave that because the video is getting way too long okay bye